गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस वन चैप्टर दैट इज माइक्रोब्स इन ह्यूमन वेलफेयर यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन क्लास 8 वन चैप्टर दैट इज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रेंड एंड फो सम माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर बेनिफिशियल टू अस लाइक राइजोबियम ई कोलाई बैक्टीरिया एंड सम आर फो मींस हार्मफुल टू अस दैट इज टीबी बैक्टीरिया और लेप्रोसी सच टाइप ऑफ बैक्टीरिया दैट कॉजेस डिजीज द टीबी टाइफाइड सिमिलरली टाइफाइड दैट मींस सैलमोनेला बैक्टीरिया दैट कॉजेस टाइफाइड सो इन दिस चैप्टर ओनली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ माइक्रोब्स आर वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस फर्स्ट कम टू द पॉइंट व्हाट आर माइक्रोब्स और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स द ऑर्गेनिजम्स व्हिच आर नॉट विजिबल टू आवर नेकेड आई we can see only by the help of a microscope or under microscope we can see they are called microbes or micro organisms their as their size is very very small means 0.1 mm or less and they are omnipresent organism just like we say that god is omnipresent similarly micro organisms are also omnipresent as they present even high temperature that is thermal vent which is more than 100 degree celsius and deep inside the soil and also in snow and different adverse conditions also and also normal conditions then the microbes are classified into following types number one protozoa bacteria fungi plant viruses viroids and prions these are the diagrams already given that is protozoa that means malaria parasite or fungi this is uh, another is prokaryotes that is bacteria then hiv virus then it is prions well, these are the different types of protozoa the first one is this is diagram of a paramecium which is unicellular organism then microbes in household product first what are the benefits we will get number one microbes in household product namely dairy product number one that is called lactic acid bacteria one bacteria that is called lactobacillus which are added to milk which help in partial digestion of milk protein casein protein so that it can easily digested in our digestive system so lab bacteria is very very helpful process that convert milk to cod so cod can easily digested and absorbed in your intestine then come to that bacteria that is called lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria which is presently in a starter starter means small amount of cod having that bacteria which convert milk to cod and so that cod is highly nutritious and it contains vitamin b12 which is very essential for our body and also the cord prevent the growth of microbes in our digestive system next another dairy product is yogurt it is developed by another bacterium that is called streptococcus thermophilus or lactobacillus bulgaricus and buttermilk it is another milk product or dairy product produced by bacteria that is called lactobacillus acidophilus another is cheese very important there are two types of cheese that is one is swiss cheese another is roquefort cheese swiss cheese is formed by a bacterium called propionibacterium sahamani where the bacteria produces the carbon dioxide gas so it forms the large number of holes then another is roquefort cheese which is formed by another fungus that is called penicillium roquefort which is highly nutritious highly tasty for us so these are the dairy product next come to duff that means bread in preparation of bread the yeast that fungus is used that is called baker yeast its name is saccharomyces cerevisiae that produces also carbon dioxide gas by a process called living so that with particular warm temperature it will become duff the needed floor will become duff it will become puffy so three enzymes are required number one amylase which converts starch into sugar 
सेकेंड वन इज माल्टोज माल्टेज हुज कन्वर्ट माल्टोज सुगर टू ग्लूकोज देन थर्ड वन इज जाइमेज हुज कन्वर्ट ग्लूकोज टू अल्कोहल एंड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मेक द सब्सटेंस पुफी सिमिलरली टॉडी टॉडी व्हाट टॉडी टॉडी इज अ ट्रेडिशनल ड्रिंक व्हिच इज मेनली यूज इन साउथ इंडियंस इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ डेट पाम जूस सिमिलरली वी आर यूजिंग डे टू डे आवर ब्रेकफास्ट वी ईट डोसा उपमा इडली हियर सम बैक्टीरिया दैट इज लिकोनोस्टॉक एंड स्टिप्टोकोकस बैक्टीरिया व्हेन मिक्स दे कन्वर्ट इनटू द डफ हला पुफिंग ऑफ द डफ सो इट बिकम्स स्पंजी लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सो इट इज वेरी टेस्टी इन ड्यूरिंग ईटिंग नेक्स्ट माइक्रोब्स इन इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्ट माइक्रोब्स आर यूज फॉर लार्ज स्केल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट नंबर वन फर्मेंटेड बेवरेज बेवरेज सम ऑफ द बेवरेज व्हिच वी गेट इन आवर डे टू लाइफ सम पीपल आर टेकिंग आल्सो दे आर प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय सम फंगस लाइक साकारोमाइसिस सरिभिसी दैट इज कॉल्ड बियर ईस्ट सिमिलरली वाइन बियर आर आल्सो प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम सच टाइप ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट आर प्रोड्यूस विदाउट डिस्टिलेशन and husky brandy rum are produced with distillation then come to another product that is called antibiotics we have learned till also class 9 antibiotics are the chemical substance developed from microorganisms which prevent the growth of other microorganisms the first antibiotics was discovered by alexander fleming from a fungus called penicillin notatum but now it is most of the antibiotics are developed from bacteria though scientist fleming chen and flore got nobel prize for large scale production of antibiotics of a commercial scale in which is used during second world war then come to what are the good characteristic of antibiotics means it has no side effect it is harmless it is effect to particular pathogen and it is quick action for example streptomycin tetracycline erythromycin and one important thing is that we should take antibiotics under supervision or prescription of a doctor overdose of antibiotics also harmful to us next organic acid and alcohol some of the organic acid also produced in large scale or in industrial scale from some microorganisms for example citric acid it is produced from a microbes that is called aspergillus niger it is a fungi acetic acid which is present in vinegar used for preservation of pre kill obtained from a bacteria acetobacter acetate butyric acid similarly clostridium butylicum lactic acid similarly lactobacillus species from bacteria then ethanol also produced from yeast that is called saccharomyces cerevisiae some enzymes are also produced commercially from different for different purposes from the microorganisms for example lipase it has great importance it is used in detergent for removing oily stain or dot dart from the clothes then pectinase or proteases it is used for clarifying bottle juices then streptokinase it is obtained from a bacteria called streptococcus it is used for clot buster it is helps to remove the clots during myocardial infarction myocardial infarction that means heart problem heart related disease next bioactive molecules some molecules are also bioactive molecules are obtained from microorganisms they are used for different purposes for example cyclosporin a it is obtained from a fungus that is called trichoderma polysporum where it is used Nid is used as a immunosuppressive agent for organ transplantation. If we will donate the organ to a person, that person must 
सो एलर्जिक रिएक्शन ड्यू टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज दैट मीन्स टी लिम्फोसाइट विल बिकम मोर एक्टिव सो वी शुड हैव टू रिड्यूस और डिक्रीज इट्स इम्यूनिटी पावर बाय गिविंग साइक्लोस्परिन देन स्टार्टिंग एन आदर बायोक्टिव मोलिकल इट इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम ए फंगस दैट इज कॉल्ड मोनोस्कस पुरपुरियस इट इज रिड्यूसेस द ब्लड कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल देन थर्ड पॉइंट हाउ माइक्रोब्स इज यूज इन सी एच ट्रीटमेंट सी एच व्हाट इन बाय सी एच सी एच मीन्स द वेस्ट वाटर कमिंग फ्रॉम द हॉस्पिटल म्युनिसिपालिटी और इवन द टाउन्स हुई एंटर इन टू नियर बाय पॉन एज and causes serious water pollution as it contains human excreta organic waste and some pathogenic microbes so it should be minimized or the water must be less polluting before discharging into nearby water bodies by a process that is called stp sewage treatment plant it occurs by two steps one is primary treatment another is secondary treatment primary treatment is also called as physical treatment it occurs by two steps one is filtration another was is sedimentation the first one is filtration means the process in which the water the waste water is passes through a bar screen where the large solid particles are removed out by means of a mesh screen after that the water is transported to a tank where it is settled down where heavy mass sand slate some pebbles are sedimented are settled down at the bottom of the pond and then the surface water that is called primary effluent is passed for secondary treatment or biological treatment and the waste produced in the primary treatment that is called primary sludge means solid waste is subject to to composting in a landfill area or a digest anaerobic digested tank landfill means the low lying area where garbages are dumped and the primary effluent is go for secondary treatment or biological treatment why it is called biological treatment here some biological organisms are required to remove the waste from the water bodies so the primary effluent is first passes into aeration tank where continuous oxygen supply taking place and where useful microbes will grow that is called flux after some days what are the flux flushes are masses of bacteria associated with fungal filament what they do they will consume the organic waste from the water as a result the bod bio chemical oxygen demand will decrease the be more dod value water will more polluted less well dod value water is less polluted if the flux will more the dod value will reduce then the flux hala is transport to a sludge activated sludge in the settling tank another tank is there where it is transport to a activated sludge the activated sludge again transport to a anaerobic sludge digester where it undergo decomposition and it produces the biogas like methane other gas like hydrogen sulfide dioxide and carbon dioxide it is and the water which is produced it is go for tertiary treatment if we use it for the purpose of drinking otherwise we will re, we can re, discharge into nearby pond and river so we can you can see the diagram where raw sewage are coming then for primary treatment and for secondary treatment and finally the discharge water go for tertiary treatment primary treatment is always called physical separation as screening and sedimentation filtration and sedimentation is there and secondary treatment is called biological treatment why microorganisms are used to remove the impurities from the water then come to point one is ganga action plan it is developed by our ministry of 
environment and forest to reduce the rate of water pollution in Ganga river. Next microbes in production of biogas. We know if you use the fossil fuels by burning it will produce large amount of pollutant into the atmosphere. It create a havoc effect to our atmosphere, finally causes environmental pollution, greenhouse effect, global warming. That's why in village area by the government of India, that is Indian Agricultural Research Institute and Khadi and Village Industries Commission develop the technique of biogas production. It is a simple tank, it contains a simple gas tank where where biogas producing substance that is cow dung cake or other dung material is inserted along with the water mixed with water and inserted into the digester tank where it is decomposed by means of bacteria that is called methanogen and produces the methane gas the methane gas is used for cooking and for also lighting the home so this is a diagram of a biogas. The plant has a concrete tank of height 10 to 15 feet in which the bio waste or slurry of dung is collected. The tank has a floating cover which rises or by production of the gas. And the bacteria mainly involved in the production of biogas is methanogen bacteria or methanobacterium. Next, after production of the biogas, the outlet from the outlet, the substance is produced which is more fertile than the manure, which is used as a fertilizer. This is the diagram you see that is a cattle dung, cow or cow dung, and that waste is used for biogas production, and the gas is used for cooking and lighting the home. So, biogas advantage is eco friendly. It provide both for energy and manure and reduce the chance of fecal pathogen. Normal cow dung is not for more effective for cultivation, but the manure produced after biogas production is more fertile and it creates no pollution. Next, microbes as biocontrol agent. Some microbes are used to control different types of diseases. Generally, we use different types of chemicals, fertilizers, woodicides for better production of crop. But the other hand, it causes environmental pollution. That's why nowadays microbes are used to control different biological organisms. Number one bacteria, that is Bacillus thuringiensis. It is used to counter, control butterfly caterpillar. Nowadays also in biotechnology method, one gene is extracted from Bacillus thuringiensis, that is Bt gene and introduced to plant and to provide the insect resistance plant. Means if the plant, any insect will eat the plant, then the inside the in stomach, the protein, crystal protein will swell, the insect will die. That's why it is more effective, it is not causes any environmental pollution, we need not use any chemical fertilizer. You use the gene, Bt gene, that is Bacillus thuringiensis gene, that is a insect resistance gene, that produces crystal protein. Earlier, what the scientists they had done, they collect the spores of the Bacillus thuringiensis and continuously, continuously spread into the plant. If the insect will eat, they die. But it is a long continuous process. But by biotechnology process, it can be done very easily and effectively. Then another is fungus that is called Tychoderma. It also protect various fungus. It is a protect also various plant pathogen. Similarly, Baculovirus also or pathogen that attack insect and other arthropods and nucleopolyadenovirus it is also a holistic approach it can control various types of pathogen from plants next 
microbes as bio fertilizer some bio microbes they can help the trapping the atmospheric nitrogen and increases the fertility of the soil for example rhizobium you have already learned in class 7 also rhizobium is a symbiotic bacteria present in root nodules of pulses moong dal or gram that fix atmospheric nitrogen and increases the fertility of the soil so we need not use any type of chemical fertilizer by means of by fertilizer we can increase the fertility of the soil similarly azospirillum azobacteria are also free living bacteria which absorb nitrogen from the air and convert into nitrogen like amino acid and increases the nutrient content in the soil then fungi as a bio fertilizer fungi form the symbiotic association with roots of higher plants like mycorrhiza for example glumus and they help the absorption of phosphorus from the soil and passes to plant. So these are the main point where microbes are used in our day to day life. They are beneficial to us and they increase the fertility of the soil, they improve the texture of the soil, they do not allow the pathogen to flourish, they do not cause pollution. In class 8, you have learned that they are harmful, they are poor, they are not beneficial to us. But here you learn that many microbes are beneficial to us and they help any different aspect of life. Thank you. Thank you. Good day.